Normally, if you'd see an instrument like this in the hands of someone who'd studied and, and worshipped at the feet of Mr. Atkins, they would play something inspired by him. Not this video. Not that I don't worship the guy. I mean, obviously, you, you, if that's your resume, you're revered as the greatest of all time. There's reasons for that. Uh, there's a reason that his name is still emblazoned upon instruments this many years after his passing and obviously all of the influence that he had on guitar players that came after him. So, you know, if you haven't spent any time with any Chet recently, do so. I'm holding something that uh, is a direct descendant of one of the instruments that Gretsch made for him in uh, probably in the late 50s, 60s kind of era. They've obviously, this isn't exactly what the original would have been, but it's a close approximation. Approximation. I like that's a new one I made up. Um, one thing that we found really interesting about this is that the, the Bigsby, not only um, the, the tailpiece, but also the roller bridge, uh, they don't match the gold hardware. Kind of rad. Just fun fact. This is a Japanese-made instrument, um, and we've seen these before, and we've put them in videos, and they're amazing to me how playable they are. Um, I think that's one main difference between some of the old ones that we see and these new incarnations is that the Japanese ones are like really easy to start playing. There's no clunky in their trunky. Is that a, is that a t-shirt? Anyway, um, Filtertron's the huge. Chet's name on the fingerboard. Um, uh, really, there's not really much I need to say about this other than what does it sound like. I'm running into the car Sportsman. It's a single 12, all tube. I'm trying our Hentz casein pick in an extra heavy. I mean, I don't mean it like it's, I'm having trouble holding it up. I meant that. It's amazing to me these instruments, how resonant they are before I even turn the amp on.
Gretsch, it's a, it's perfect. If you don't have one, this is that one that you thought you might want, I promise. There's nothing about this that is uh, impeding me from just getting to work and playing it. It fits, I mean, it's still a big guitar, um, but it's not ridiculous. I've held some and you've probably seen videos where they're ridiculous, this ain't that one. Um, it's ready to go. Get in touch if you, uh, if you love this color and you're looking to put a Chet Tribute Act together. It's time. It's time. We, uh, we, we have some uh, special exciting news for you that this guitar is going to be, well, as long as it doesn't walk out the door in the next hour. Um, coming up next time, this guitar alongside two others also in the Chet family, one from way back one from current. I'm going to put this alongside it as well, but we're cooking something up for, so stay tuned. It'll be exciting. Until then, here's, uh, this is a 6120, uh, and we will have lots more next time on the show with guitars and that guy who talks about them. Mm -hmm.